Now let's see how to make the first freeze frame transition. So first import your clip to the timeline. Now move your time to the first frame of the second clip. Then we need to take a snapshot of the current frame. So click on this little camera icon. Or click Shift plus Ctrl plus E. It'll open up a new window. In the format option, select PNG. And enable import into project. Now click on OK. So as you can see a snapshot in the project panel. Then drag and drop on above of the second clip. Now right click on it. And select edit in Adobe Photoshop. So it'll open up with your Photoshop application. Now we are going to remove the background from the subject. So choose any selection tool. And select your subject. Then click Shift plus Ctrl plus I. And click on Delete. Now click on Ctrl plus S to save it. Then going back to the Premiere Pro. And as you can see here, the snapshot background has been removed. Now right click on the snapshot. And nest it. Then cut 10 frames from the start of the snapshot. Hold on Shift key. And double click on the right arrow key. Then click Ctrl plus K to make a cut. Now delete the last part. And move the nested clip to the above of the first clip. Then move over to the effects tab. And search for transform. Apply this effect to the nested clip. Then go to the effect controls tab. Now move the time indicator to the last frame of the nested clip. And under the transform effect. Make a keyframe on the position. Now move the time indicator to the first frame and change the subject position to the right, left, top or bottom. For my case, I like to move my subject to the left side. Then make the shutter angle 180. And that's it. This is our first freeze frame transition. Now let's see how to make the second freeze frame transition. Double click on the nested clip. Move to the effects tab and search for VR chromatic aberration. Now apply this effect on this layer. Then go to the Effect Controls tab. Under the VR Chromatic Aberration, set the falloff distance 100%. Now going back to the main sequence, and let's see how it looks. So this is our second transition. Now let's see how to make the third transition. So open the nested sequence, and delete the VR Chromatic Aberrations effect. Then going back to the main sequence, and delete the position keyframes. So click on the position stopwatch icon. And click OK. Now reset the position. Then again going back to the last frame of the nested clip. This time make keyframes on the position and scale. Then going back to the first frame. And making the scale size around 30. Now change the position where you think it is perfect to fit. And this is our third freeze frame transition. Now let's see how to make fourth transition. So delete the scale and position keyframes and reset them. Then going back to the last keyframe of the nested clip and make keyframes on the rotation and scale. Now back to the first frame and change the rotation value 180 degrees and set the scale value 0.1. And this is our fourth freeze frame transition. Now let's see how to make the last transition. So again delete the rotation and scale keyframes. And reset their value. Now going back to the last keyframe of the nested sequence. And make keyframe on the position. Then back to the first frame. And move the position to the bottom. Until your subject completely disappeared. So the animation will be like that. Now duplicate the nested clip. Then move 5 frames to the left from the nested clip. So move your time indicator to the beginning of the nested clip. And click on left arrow key 5 times. Then move this nested clip to the time indicator position. And adjust this clip duration to the bottom nested clip. So the animation will be like that. Now select the top nested clip. Then under the effect controls tab, click on the motion drop down icon. 
and change the position X value 860 and change the Y value 640 and let's see how it looks. It looks so pretty. We are almost done, again do the same thing. Duplicate the top nested clip and move this clip 5 frames to the left side. Adjust the duration with bottom nested clip. Then select this top nested clip. Now change the position X value 760 and change the Y value 740. Now we are done. So this is our last freeze frame transition. That's all for today. If you enjoy this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on my Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.